Ways to say I don't know how to tell you this, but in an informal English. I'm not sure how to break this to you, but I'm at a loss for how to say this, but I don't have the words to express it, but I'm struggling to find a way to say this, but I'm having a hard time putting it into words, but I wish there was an easier way to say this, but I don't want to shock you, but I hope you can handle hearing this, but I hope you're sitting down for this, but I wish there was a gentler way to say this, but Ways to say you might not like what I have to say, but in an informal English You may not be pleased with what I'm about to say, but I understand if you won't appreciate this, but This might not sit well with you, but It's possible you won't be happy to hear this, but You may want to brace yourself but it's not the easiest thing to say, but I'm afraid this won't be great news, but you might cringe at this, but I hope you won't be too upset, but I don't want to ruin your day, but Ways to say I wish I didn't have to tell you this, but in an informal English. I hate to break it to you, but I'm really sorry to say this, but this is the last thing I wanted to tell you, but it pains me to have to say this, but I wish there was an easier way to say this, but I'm not looking forward to saying this, but I hope you can handle hearing this, but I hope you're sitting down for this, but I'm not thrilled to say this, but I don't want to bring you down, but Ways to say I don't mind in an informal English. It's all good. No biggie. Don't sweat it. I'm cool with it. It's fine by me. I'm okay with that. I have no problem. It doesn't bother me. I'm easygoing about it. I'm chill with that. Ways to say makes me no difference. In an informal English. I couldn't care less. It's all the same to me. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. It doesn't matter one bit. I'm totally indifferent. I have no strong feelings either way. It's no skin off my nose. I'm neutral on the matter. I'm apathetic about it. I'm not phased by it. Ways to say I don't know what to say, in an informal English. I'm at a loss for words. I'm speechless. I have no idea what to say. I'm drawing a blank. Words fail me. I'm stumped. I'm lost for words. I'm speechless. 
to be honest. I'm completely baffled. I'm dumbfounded. Ways to say can I talk to you for a minute? In an informal English. Can we chat for a sec? Mind if I bend your ear for a moment? Can I grab you for a quick chat? Do you have a moment to talk? Can we have a quick powwow? Can we catch up briefly? Can I have a word with you? Mind if I pick your brain for a minute? Can we have a quick one-on-one? -on -one? Can I steal you away for a sec? Ways to say can I ask you something? In an informal English. Mind if I throw a question your way? Can I quiz you on something? Got a second for a quick question? Do you have a moment for a query? Can I fire a question at you? Mind if I inquire about something? Can I hit you with a question? Got a second for a curiosity? Can I pick your brain on something? Mind if I ask you a little something? Ways to say sorry, I didn't catch your name. In an informal English. I'm sorry, but your name slipped my mind. Sorry, I missed your name. I didn't quite hear your name, my bad. Could you repeat your name? I missed it. I'm drawing a blank on your name, sorry. My apologies, but I didn't get your name. Sorry, I didn't catch what you said your name was. Could you tell me your name one more time? Sorry, it went in one ear and out the other. Your name again? I'm terrible with names. Could you remind me of yours? Ways to say I am terrible at names in an informal English. I'm really bad with names. Names just don't stick with me. I have a terrible memory for names. I'm the worst at remembering names. Names always slip my mind. I'm hopeless with names. Names seem to escape me. I can never recall names. I'm a name for Jetter. Names are my kryptonite.